Yeah, I mean, this isn't fun at all out here anyway. Nah. It's Steve Nash, and now we have Jeremy Lin. I mean, this is this is fantastic. Uh, what is what has been the reaction, uh, Jeremy, of, of Laker fans since you've been traded? When since you've been walking around town and seeing people globally? Uh, yeah, people are extremely nice. Um, that's one thing I've noticed, and uh, everybody loves the Lakers out here, and that's uh, one thing that I've really learned, and it's pretty obvious just from walking around for five minutes. Do you think the schedule makers had you in mind when they went Houston? Lakers <laughs> opening night. I mean, not only are you going to be playing in the purple and gold in your first game, but against your former team, that's got to be exciting. Uh, it's definitely exciting. I think uh, I think it might be a little more to do with Kobe and Dwight, but <laughs> you uh, <think? laughs> but uh, you know, I guess maybe I'm a subplot somewhere in there. I don't know. Uh, you you tore us apart when you were in New York, and then you go to Houston. Now you land in Los Angeles. You know, uh, in, in my past, I've seen guys go from team to team, and then they find somewhere where they finally can call home. Do you feel like this is a place where you can feel at home? Because we do. Uh, this is definitely a place where I would love to call home. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was born here. It, it was my home before, and uh, I would love to come back and play here um, long term. But, um, again, it's just about taking it one day at a time and, and just focusing on this season. But uh, I'm, I'm very excited. You know, I have been to a lot of different teams, and, and I'm excited to be here. Jeremy, your role, oh, sorry, go ahead. your role, your role. Has it been defined by by Coach B. Scott yet, or what do you see your role as 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 a guard on this team? Or yeah, about? I mean, I think for me, um, I want to, you know, I, this season I want to definitely just be aggressive, be a playmaker. I just want to be dynamic and, and explosive in different ways, and then I think um, to be able to bring it defensively, try to be able to. Uh, worked, I worked a lot on that this offseason, so hopefully being able to chase uh, some of these other guards around and make it hard for them. Um, that's kind of my goal. Jeremy, you have a chance to play with two legends of the game, actually, when, when you think of Kobe Bryant and, and Steve Nash, two Hall of Famers. Let's talk Steve Nash specifically. He was just on the set a few moments ago talking about how excited he is to be able to mentor guys like you and Jordan Clarkson. What's that going to mean for you? Uh, it's everything. Um, there's just you know certain experiences or certain people where you just can't recreate it as much as you try um, and what I'm going to learn from him I just can't recreate uh, from anybody else just to see him how he works what he does how he reads reads the defense um, even his approach to the game I just think there's so much to learn in that area and for him to have the career he's had it's uh, you know it's a no-brainer to soak up as much information as you can what is something that you worked on this summer where you said if I can do this I'm going to elevate my game. I have to be better. Um, I would say there was probably three things. Um, one was defense. Um, I want to be a great defender. Uh, two, I want to be consistent. Uh, I want to be deadly from the three-point line. And then the three is just my left hand. So you went to Harvard, right? Yeah. <laughs> my daughter went to Yale. Oh, no. She hates you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been to a few Harvard-Yale football games, and they're pretty exciting. They are. Uh, you know, you have a huge following globally, but talk about your country and, and China and what that's going to be like to have that kind of following and to represent, you know. Are you more uh, popular than Kobe in China? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think so. he is. Yeah. I don't yeah. think so. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just, uh, for me, it's something that, you know, not, not any even, not necessarily even a country just being Asian, Asian American mm -hmm. in the NBA. It's just been... Um, incredible. I mean, the, the stuff that the fans do, um, the way that they show their support, I could name, I mean, the craziest, funniest, most creative, awesome ways they've been, they've been there for me. So hopefully this season I'll be able to, um, you know, give them something to cheer for. You know, you're four years removed from Harvard, man. What are some of your classmates doing now? Uh, you know, they're all doing all types of different things. Hedge funds, uh, Wall Street, yeah. Facebook, I mean, Google. They're working at Google. So it's funny seeing everybody's careers develop. Do you love doing the social media thing? I mean, you and your friends have done some great videos that have gone viral. I mean, you dunked and smashed a cake in your mom's face. This might be a good time to apologize. <laughs> Uh, I, I already did that. Yeah. In person. <laughs> Do you enjoy uh, that part of it? Yeah, I think uh, for me, you know, there's there's a certain aspect of my personality that people see on the court and um, there's only so much that, you know, uh, you can see from a game, but off the court, I am a person as well. I have a personality. I like to have fun. So um, what we just try to do is be authentic, bring that side of who we are um, to the fans. What kind of threat are you going to try to be? We know what your strengths are, but we know how teams are going to play you. What new that you bring to the table? We know you drive to the basket very well, get to the rim. What do you think, you, you know, you want to put pressure on your opponent. What do you think that will be for you this year? Uh, like you said, I think my bread and butter will always be attacking the basket. Um, but I think 
um, just becomes smarter, um, you know, cutting down on the turnovers, being able to hit that shot more consistently, make better decisions. Um, I think the more consistently and efficiently you can do those things, just the tougher it is to guard you throughout the course of 48 minutes versus, you know, one stretch you're playing really well, one stretch you're struggling. Um, just trying to maintain that level throughout. Last thing, uh, because we like to have fun on this set, we want to know, you've had endorsement deals, millions of them that you've had to turn down. What's the craziest one? The craziest yeah, endorsement? Yeah, so there's some crazy things that people tried to offer you and you, you had to turn them down. I mean, I've been, uh, I've turned down like a, a soy sauce company and stuff <laughs> like that, and uh, there's been some funny ones out there. All right, there's some good ones, right? Yeah. All right, well, hey, Jay Lynn, we're so excited. You're wearing the purple and gold, man. Congratulations on being here, and this is going to be a big year for you. I appreciate it. Uh